as you get older and your skill decreases, you look to the environment more. So you use your mind more to find better things to skate or more interesting things to skate as your skill level decreases. So it's, I really feel like that's, that's what happens. As a designer, I feel like it's the opposite. You think more about what you're designing in the overall grand scheme of things as opposed to in the beginning, like some of the first skate parks I designed, I'm not so psyched on the designs right now. Not that I'm not psyched on them, it's just that I felt like it, I wasn't thinking about the, the bigger picture. So I would say it's like a complete opposite chart as far as like skateboarding, the activity and designing. You'll find inspiration everywhere you go in the city. And there is a little bit of every skate spot in the city in this park. Everything was someplace else because I was inspired to put it in here. What is more inspirational than like looking at this bridge, <laughs> you know what I mean? And if you think about it, what do you see in the bridge? If you look, you see all these like curves, which is the actual opposite of these, you know, of these ramps. If you flip this upside down, you know, that would be the skate park and this would be the bridge. This whole project here, I wasn't paid for any of this. You know, I mean, this is all like, because this is the payment, you know what I mean? That I'm standing on it. This is like, okay, this is an amazing park that I was involved with. You do need to be very confident, <laughs> you know what I mean? Because if you're a little bit meek about something or you're just like not sure, you know, there, I don't know, there, I do see a big difference between not being sure or being psyched to do it and then you're so confident you almost are making it successful in a way, even if it's not successful, like that thing. That obstacle over there was something in the park that we had the opportunity to make one more obstacle because we had enough time, we had the concrete, we had the budget for it. And we did take a risk and it didn't come out like anything like I wanted it to come out. And I'm not psyched on it, but it's funny because those risks, you know, I'm like, was kind of like very disappointed. And I'm like, damn, I, I, I took the chance, I made it, it's done, it's in concrete, you know? And I was like so bummed on it. But I just talked to some guys and they said like, oh, that's one of the dopest things in the park. So it could be that a risk you take, you know, might turn out to be something awesome, you know? And you do definitely need to take those risks, you know? It's both in design and like, you know, in skateboarding or whatever it is, because I feel like that is one of the main ingredients of progression, you know, is taking that risk and just, you know, laying it down the line. Yes, you know, maybe nine times out of 10, it's not gonna be good. You know, for certain things with the skate park, you have to, you have to, you know, weigh that risk. What is that risk of trying to do this new obstacle? Or in skateboarding, you know, am I gonna jump down 20 stairs? I don't know, do I wanna risk that? <laughs> you know, everything is weighed and you gotta think about everything in a certain way, but it is a main ingredient, I think, to not only, uh, not only creativity, but success, you know? You gotta take chances, you know? If you don't, you'll never know.